Hello, this is Mr. Bandy, and we're going to go over using the ruler program, uh, doing lessons six and seven, and then when we're done with that, we're going to we're going to print the screen, we're going to paste it over into Paint, and then we're going to upload that file into the lesson. Uh, you have to resort back to one of my other lessons as far as finding the file, being able to upload it. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go to the project one. It's right here. It might you might also find it on your desktop. Put my name in here. Start program. Fractions only and lesson six. Now you will be required to do two. I'm not gonna do two. Uh ten, I'm sorry. You you're gonna be required to do ten of each. Lesson six, then ten of lesson seven. I'm only gonna do a few just to give you an example. It's 7, and 8 is my denominator. It's going to be 1 quarter. Let's see, 1 quarter, that's 3 fourths, there's 1 half. This is a 16th as a denominator, so I've got 3 whole numbers. And then I've got a 16th as a denominator. Go ahead and get that 16th, and then which one is it? Now, right here, I know this is 8 16 or 1 half. The same as 8 16 So I go 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 16 right there. One more. So 1, and then an 8 is a denominator. And you can always look at the board if you need to in my room. The whiteboard's got it listed. Now, once I've done 10 of these, I would I can come up here and return to the exercise selection. I'm going to go to Lesson 7, and I'm going to do 10 of these. So now, I can actually use the... Uh, I can click and drag it to where I want it. Or I can use the keys, the arrow keys on my computer. You can use either one. So right there it is, 2 and 3 quarters. Drag it over to 2. And let me see, 9 sixteenths. There's 8 sixteenths. That's 9 sixteenths. 2 and 9 sixteenths. So 3 and 3 sixteenths. Drag it on over. What I'm doing here is I'm clicking and holding the button down until the arrow or the blue line gets to where I want it. It's going to be 13 sixteenths. So right here is 8 sixteenths. There's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right there. Do one more. You will be required to do ten. So there's one sixteenth, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! This is awesome. Imagine that. Okay, so I've done my four of each. You remember are going to do ten each. I go to my student performance, and here it is. This is where I'm going to do the print screen. Okay, so I do a print screen. And it is on your desktop. And I can show you where it's at here in just a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. And then uh, I've hit the button. So it's printed. I can exit out now. And just real quick, here is the, here's what it looked like on your screen, on your keyboard. Something kind of like that. Now it may actually say, print screen. Some of them I've seen it down in here or over here somewhere. Mine's right here. So let's go to paint so we can paste that in there. Uh, all programs, accessories, right here, accessories, paint, there it is. And come up here to paste and there it is. I'm going to click on the selection, and I'm going to just focus on the main information is all I need. And I'm going to crop. There it is. Go up here to File. Let's do a Save As. And I'm going to say it's David's. 
they'll work and save and at this point I would go to my classroom I would go to the assignment here and you've done this before so you should know how to do that and I have a, a another video on a turning assignments in you click on it but see I'm not going to get the same thing you get because I'm the teacher but down here at the bottom it would have a turn in you click on that you need to go to files that's going to be on your computer and select it off your computer go to your documents or it's going to be in the folder that is your name and you'll find it there okay I think that's it you know, turn it in well thank you all thank you very much